Hello and welcome to Model Train Fun. In this video we're going to look at this one here, which is a Minitrix starter set. Uh, it's starter set number 11157. Uh, Minitrix is an N-Scale brand, um, so I'm li really looking forward to seeing what you can do in N-Scale. I hope you enjoy the video. This is uh, one of my recent purchases. It's a Minitrix 11157. It's a digital data set. Um, I'm normally a nature guy, so I'm, I'm really, really excited to get to look at the, this one, which is N scale, um, to see how nice that is. So let me start by opening the box. I have to say, as you can, I did just briefly open it because there was something rattling inside. Um, when I got it, it turned out it was the tracks that had jumped around. Um, so, what do we have in the box? We got a nice locomotive. It feels uh, rather heavy. Um, I think I also saw in the uh, description that this is actually metal. Looks really, really nice. Cool. Swiss locomotive. There's a couple of cars here. Let me see if I can get them out. Couple of uh, container cars. Also really heavy. If I understand it right, uh, it's also a metal here. At least the, uh, the frame or the car itself, but not the containers on top. Looks really nice. <clears throat> we got a manual to get going. Got manuals about the locomotive, warranty card, various other things. See something about the whoops power supply as well. And then we got tracks. As you can see, they're jumbled around again. There's a handful of straight tracks. There's a handful of um, curved tracks. More manuals. Um, it looks like we got a re-railer as well. Manual for the mobile station. In a couple of languages. A description on how to connect this. Going to be interesting. Never tried it before. Here we have the mobile station itself. We got a power supply. Then we got the track connector box. What we got in here also is a locomotive card. If I understand it right, this should uh, be able to tell the controller all the functions of the locomotive. Just plug it into the controller. A couple of thingies, I have no idea what is. I guess I'll learn. Not quite sure what this is. Track cleaner or something, perhaps. Cool. I think uh, we need to get it set up. Whew. 
that was a tough one. Um, I'm not used to uh, tracks with rail joiners, so it took me a little while, and it was a little fiddly since uh, they're so small. But cool, we got it up and going. So uh, now I think we just have to turn it on. Let me just uh, pull this plastic off the mobile station. Um, we have to give it some power. Uh, that must be this one. So we should see the mobile station starting up. Cool, it does. It says Macklin. Yeah. Minitrix is owned by Macklin. It's ready. It says stuff in German. Um, so the first thing we want to do is actually uh, change it away from German. You see the uh, range here. Green, so we hit shift, press that. We can use the buttons over here on the side, up and down. You can see it goes up and down on the scroll bar. We need to find Sprache, which is German for language. You see I can choose between Deutsch, which is German, and English. I'll choose English. And now you see it's all in English. Now comes the interesting part, I guess. Because I guess we uh, have to plug this in. So this is the uh, memory card, I guess, uh, with all the information about the locomotive. So let's do that. I wonder how it goes in. There's a slot here. I don't know if it has to be up or down. I'll try this way first. Warning reading loco card. Yes, I would like to read loco card. I guess I'd press this one for yes. Nothing happened. Should something happen? I don't know if I pressed the right button then. Let me try again. Error reading. Oh, I guess it's telling me. Maybe it's not attached right. Let me try the other way around. Oh, actually it's here now. Cool. So we got the information loaded about a locomotive. Awesome. Now we just need to put the locomotive on the tracks. Let me unwrap it. Oh, not easy to get out. Whoa. I guess I should have taken it from the other side. Just do a close up here of the locomotive. As I said before, it's heavy, nice, has lots of details. A little cap interior, I see. There's some windshield wipers as well. Looks nice. Cool. Let's put it on the track. Awesome. It's on the track. I guess we have to get the out of stop mode. Maybe I can start by making some noise. Woo! Yes, it does make noise. Startup sound. Cool. Try and give it a little speed. I don't know which direction it's going. Oh, that way. Cool. So, um, let's try with the cars. Let's see what we have in here. Ooh, more plastic. 
How does this work? How do I get to the cars? Oh, looks like there's some extra pieces here. Not sure what that's for. Ah, it's an extra layer of plastic here. Give me just a second. Yeah, really, really well wrapped. Okay, finally, the goodies. Look how nice it is. Looks very finely detailed. Try and see if I can get it out. I can. One container. Looks very nice. Cool. That's another container. Looks similar to the first one. Some padding. Let's take out the car. Let's have a look at it. Well, it's definitely heavy. It's uh, made out of metal. You can also see there's a fine, fine print on here. Actually very impressive. Cool. Let's put it on the tracks. Yeah, I'll have to say this re-railer is really, really handy. Not sure how easy these are to mount. How to mount them even. It looks like there's some pegs in there. Should go about here. There's some on the other side as well. Should go about there. Feels like you can press them together. Let me try that. See they're not entirely in there. You can see that here. Entirely in there. Well, I guess they just barely sit. Oh, they're narrow at the end. They're supposed to sit on these little stilts. Ready for the next one. It's this one here. Nice containers as with the other ones. This one has strawberries. You can also see the details here on the end. Very nice. Another strawberry container. The wagon itself looks like the other one again with the fine detailed print Have to find the right holes to put them in. Awesome. Got myself a nice little train.
All right, let's have a close up of the little train set. First, the locomotive. Look how nicely detailed it is. How nice the printing is. How small the letters are on there. Really, really nice. And then the matching container cars. Remember, the locomotive was metal, the freight cars are metal. Finely detailed, finely printed. First, the carrots. Now we have the strawberries. Really, really nice. I'm really impressed with the level of detail on such a small scale. Nice. Let's have a look at the uh, extensive uh, light and sound functions that are on this locomotive. Um, of course, we have the operating sounds. There's horn. Uh, evidently also squealing brakes, but I wasn't going fast enough for that. Um, there's several horns actually. Two more horns. Conductor's whistle. Doors being closed. That was uh, one of the station announcements. There's another one. They're rather long, so I won't go through it. Um, let's try and look at the light. Let me just turn off the light in the room here, or lower it a little. See if we can see it. I'll turn off the uh, engine sound. I'm going to turn on the headlights. Interesting, on the uh, video here, it looks like it's blinking. It's actually not in real life. Let me change the direction. So here we can see the front headlights. Trust me, they're not blinking in real life. It's only on the video. There's also uh, engineer's cab light. Yeah, it's faint, but you can see there was extra light in there. I'm going to turn it off on off so indeed there's light for the engineer as well and uh, let's try the high beams that's here ah now you can actually see uh, with high beams on it's steady on the video as well it, it is uh, indeed in real life and um, if i change direction there's only one light which is a uh, White light, it's not blinking as it looks like on the video. I believe that's prototypical for Swiss to have a white light. Um, I don't know if you can change it to red, for example. No, we can turn it off. Cool. All in all, 17 functions, so lots of fun to uh, play with. Uh, indeed. Very, very nice locomotive.
wow, I must admit, I'm truly impressed with the end scale. Um, as I said before, I'm a HO guy. I'm used to the bigger scale, uh, but the amount of details, uh, even the, how crisp and fine the printing is on, on these uh, this small locomotive and, and freight cars, even the containers, it's extremely nice. I, I'm very impressed. Um, the uh, little train also has uh, very, very nice uh, running characteristics. It's actually a metal locomotive, uh, metal freight cars, and, uh, and it runs very, very nice, as you can see. Um, uh, truly, truly impressive. Um, the amount of functions uh, that's in the locomotive, there was a lot of light functions, uh, sound functions. Uh, there's even a little light in the, in the cab of the locomotive. Uh, very impressed what you can manage to squeeze into that uh, little locomotive. Um, I must admit though, a little more comfortable with HO scale. Uh, I, I would be afraid actually to open this uh, and, and try and repair it if, if that's needed or alter or change something. Um, however, no more scared than I already did order uh, another train in scale. Um, a longer train this time. Uh, let's see if it fits on this small track. <laughs> but uh, that, that will, uh, that's what the future will show. Um, the only thing maybe I, I didn't like too much about, uh, about uh, the starter set was the tracks. The fact you had to use rail joiners uh, on these uh, small tracks. Um, I think this is uh, probably a, a matter of opinion. I'm used to a Macklin C-Track that easily snaps together. I can disassemble, I can reassemble a hundred times over, redo my layout as I see fit. Uh, these ones are clearly for a more permanent uh, layout. Uh, the benefit with these though is you can ballast them, you can make them look nice and so on, uh, which uh, where the uh, Macklin C-Track already complete pre-plasticized. Um, I'll have to figure out what the track uh, for me is to use uh, for, for N-scale, but uh, all in all, I must admit, I like it.